Hey Bidola, today we are here with David Huggins, a dating coach. What is this coaching all about? Um, a lot of people feel like dating is something that, um, that a relationship happens organically, that it develops naturally, and it does. But often when, when people have problems in that area, it's because something they're doing, something of their behavior, and so there's where we try to make a, make a difference, make a change. What's the biggest problem a man do and women do? There's, there are different ways to speak when a man says, when she says, what do you want to do? And a man says, what do you want to do? Women tend to, tend to not like that because she would like him to, she doesn't, she doesn't, because is not going to do what he wants, but she would like him to say it so she could say no. That is <laughs> that, so true. That is so true. And that's, and that seems as though, now for a lot of, for a lot of guys, if this was two guys talking about this, if guys were talking about that, they'd say, well, sometimes she wants to make the decision. Oh, she always wants to make the decision, <laughs> but she doesn't want to have responsibility for the decision. And that's a different thing. So when you say, uh, well, I don't know, what do you want to do? I assure you, the guy just wants to do what she wants to do. He wants to take her to a restaurant she wants to go to. He wants to do something she will enjoy. If a woman is happy on a date, is it a good day? Yes. If the woman is not happy on a date, is it, is it a good day? No. And let's say this, if a guy is happy on a date, is it a good day? Yes. I would say, if a guy is happy on a date, you don't know. Unless what? the woman is happy, it's not a good date. It doesn't matter. The guy's emotion is so unimportant on this date. Really, a guy, it doesn't really matter if he's, I mean, a guy tends to be happy. What will be your advice for someone that's going on a first date? The, th the main thing she, I, that I think she should look out for is complaining. Whatever she likes, to like it a lot, to like things, to show what she likes, not what she doesn't like. Now it may seem, yeah, but I'm, if I'm being honest, it's not honest, that's the problem. It's not honest, it's a habit. The first five minutes of a date she'll, is, is when most of the complaints will happen. The place, the food, the table, there's a lot of different <laughs> new things right now. But the problem is, if I've known you for five minutes and all you've done is complain, what is my impression of you? A woman that's, a girl that's 18, between 18 and 25, has starts to be approached and she starts to get approached a lot. A very attractive woman is approached maybe 10,000 times in that space. She's very open at the beginning. She doesn't know what guys are like. She doesn't know what she's gonna like. She doesn't know where her judgment is. But after 10,000 approaches, after 10,000 social interactions, the minute she sees a guy, she has a ju judgment already and it shows on her face. And guys don't think that they're good at reading anything, but they can read that. What, is, what makes a woman get approached is not her looks. It's true, in a dating app, that may be, may be true, but not in real life. What makes a woman get, get, get approached is her smile, is that welcoming energy. That's it. And so when she changes that, once she gets that, that thing, the guys, then the guys start to approach. So as you can see, guys, it's all about being yourself and knowing who you are and what you want. This is Mariana Palacios saying goodbye. I never forget, enjoy the moment.